Mike Gross here at RockinGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockinGuitarLessons1. That's uh, Hunter Hayes. Let me make sure I get this right because I hadn't heard of him before. Hunter Hayes with Rainy Season for one of my subscribers, Stein Joe Zero. Or O. Oh. Um, good stuff, man. I was like, wow. A little bit of reminding me of a guitar player named Eric Johnson. And the guitar tones are fabulous, man. I loved it. Um, I made this a little more guitar oriented than what it was because I noticed there's a lot of lead fillers going on around the chords. So I took, um, I believe it was the piano part and, and the cordings in there. Um, and, and hopefully made it work. Hopefully this will be good for you. Um, so let's jump into this standard tuning. The chords are G, A minor, G, A minor, C major, G slash B, A minor, and D. And the count is like this. On, on the G major, it's uh, go 3E, 2A, open D, open G, and then 3B, 3E. And your count is like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But here's what I would do to fit with the, the drum beat and the rhythm. I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe catch an upstroke on the higher strings, the skinnier strings. Okay, and I have a delay on it, which is filling in those gaps too nicely, I think. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then do the same thing over the A minor. A minor is open A, 2D, 2G, 1B, and a high E open. I take my thumb and I just mute out that low E on the top. And then do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you go back and start it over. Make sure I'm in tune. And good thing I checked it because I wasn't. Okay, then you go back to G. One, two, three, four, five, six. A minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then C major. Three A, two D, open G, one B, and open high E. And I like to take my third finger, tuck it underneath that low E to mute that out in case I accidentally hit it, which I will. And this one's going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Go, uh, the next chord is called G slash B. What it means is it's a G chord with a B note on the bass, which is the, the thicker string, the top string. 2A, open D, open G, 3B. Okay. Um, I tuck my first finger underneath the low E to mute that, and my third finger is angling down to mute the high E. So you're hitting the four middle strings. One, two, three, A minor, which we learned earlier. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I believe it was a six count on that A minor. And then you go to D major, that's 2E, 3B, 2G, and an open D. You can hit the A string with that, because the D major chord does have an A note in it, but don't hit the low E. So you take your thumb, you don't have to, but it's a good habit, and just barely touch the top of that low E string. That allows you a surety, for one, if you do hit it, that it's going to be muted. Actually, that's the main reason for it. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then that progression starts over. When I play this on the outro, I'm going to throw in a few little fillers in here um, that I think would sound cool with it, just for fun. But um, what was it, Hunter Hayes again? Thanks for the request, man. It's, he's good. I'm I'm anxious to go listen to some more of him, more of his stuff. He looked like a younger dude too. Um, I'm not sure who the lead player is. But he sounded really good. He reminded me of Eric Johnson. Very tasteful player. Hunter Hayes, rainy season for Stein Joe Zero. Um, all right, guys. RockingGuitarSense.com is my website. It's coming soon. In the, at the end of 2012, I hope you guys become premium members there. It's $25 for the month. It will take your plane to the next level. Um, it's going to cover everything there. I'll just keep you posted. How's that? YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1 is my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. You have everything to gain. This is free. Um, but by subscribing, you'll also know when my video uploads are coming through. It'll be in your YouTube, whatever you call it, main page there. And uh, once you do that, send me your favorite song requests and you know riffs that you've always wanted to learn. Have them done accurately. 
And even if it's a piano song, I'll transcribe it. It doesn't matter. If it's a saxophone riff, I don't care. <laughs> I'll do it. I love it, man. It's all music. Okay, um, and if you have questions on this lesson, or any other lessons for that matter, let me know. I'll clear it up for you. Be sure to comment, though. Let me know how you're doing, how your guitar playing is coming along. And uh, spread the word about me. Mike Gross, my website, my YouTube channel. We'll talk to you guys later, man. Take it easy.